Okay guys, um, very sad day today. It's a, this is a video I never thought I'd have to make, I'll be honest with you. I thought I'd be making videos about the HP Reverb G2, singing its praises, seeing how great it is. It was um, really hyped up as something really amazing and I'm returning it because I'm having issues. And the main thing is, the main reason why I'm returning this headset is because it's now broken it is not working i'm getting a usb error a usb 4-1 error which is a usb issue now i know it's a problem with either the headset or the cable because i've tried it on other computers and it was working i went on the internet did a few things and then it popped up with the error code so i know it's not a usb driver issue and i did have it working so it's something has gone wrong basically is along in the shore of it so i'm either gonna have to send it back to get repaired or send it back to get my money back now the reason why i'm getting my money back on it is it's several reasons so we'll start at the very beginning because this whole process has been the hp reverb has been a bit of a nightmare i'll be honest so let's start at the very beginning pre-orders so i was somebody put in a pre-order for this and HP sat me in the face by selling it to normal consumers before I had received my pre-order. So that's not a good start, is it? Really? But, um, you know, I was prepared to forgive them if this was as good as what everybody was saying it was. And I had issues. So loaded up iRacing, double vision. Very strange. Never had that in the Quest 2. So had double vision um my brain kind of got used to it after a little bit then when i took off the headset i then had double vision in the real world so that's not great so anyway i had to do lots of digging around changed files in the changed settings in the renderer file in iRacing again not really something not really a plug and play type of device really so I had to do that not ideal finally got it working terrible performance just even on low graphic settings, absolutely terrible. Uh, turned out it was a driver issue, so the NVIDIA drivers didn't like it. So I had to roll back the NVIDIA drivers, and it finally was starting to make sense. It, it was looking promising. So I, I probably had about an hour with this when it was working as it should work. And I have to say that the screen was very nice. Compared to the Quest 2, this is better no, no doubt about it it is the screen is better sweet spot is very small now people are saying oh there's a franken mod where you take the front cover off and you put one in from an odyssey and you 3d print some parts and you jam it in there and you stick it in and this should work as it works when as they said it okay it should work like this it really should it you shouldn't have to do loads of other stuff to make it good it, it should work out the box right now it's very comfortable i will give it that it's very comfortable so let's, let's go through the pluses first very comfortable the ipd adjustment slider is great um the screen's really good the audio's not as good as i was expecting everyone talks about these being absolutely amazing i mean even these cheap headphones are better you know it, that's just a fact so as good as it is, I mean, if VR is your thing and you are, I must have VR in my life and I want the very best visual experience that I can get, then this is probably it. I mean, the other thing I'd say is that the field of view, if anything, is worse than the Quest 2. Now, I know people have measured it and all this sort of stuff, but honestly, it's not good. It's not good. It's not. I would say that this is no more immersive than the Quest 2 is. Like, visually it's crisper it's clearer but honestly it's it's not a, a generational leap in any way they're comparable you know and then for anything other than sim racing i wouldn't even consider it so i mean those are really my main reasons for sending it back is that you know it's it's good but i'll be honest this is pretty good as well if i want vr i can just use this and I still get that immersive 
kind of feel from it. And yeah, this is slightly better. But is it is it really worth having this as well as this? Because I'm, I'm going to keep this for general VR play anyway. So do I need £600 just for this? You know, just for a slightly better experience. And on top of that, all the faff that goes with this as well. The whole Windows Mixed Reality stuff, having to change files and renderers. It's just not worth it. Plus, you know, this is obviously very fragile. You know, it's like it's already broken. Loads of reports from other people about them breaking as well. So very fragile bit of kit. Great potential in it, but it's just too much effort for me. It's not worth it over the Quest 2. So I'm going to send this back, get my, my money back. I'm also going to probably get rid of the ultra wide and end up with a 27 inch triple screen setup because I've never had a triple screen setup before. So I'm interested to see how that compares to VR. Obviously, some people are just VR, VR, VR. That's fine. If you are one of those people, great. But I'm going to try the triple screen kind of thing, see how that works out. And that will give me a good comparison, I think, to compare it with other things. So those are my future plans. That is why I'm getting rid of the G2. Um, to be honest, I'll probably never buy another HP product ever again. But we'll see, you know. The future is definitely VR. Um, I, there's no doubt that in the future, VR will be king. But at the minute, it's still the prince. Right, thanks for watching, guys. See you in the next one.